one month after the deadly Virginia Tech shooting rampage, another Virginia campus is dealing with their own gun battle. This one, though, a rhetorical one. Is it time to allow students to carry weapons on campus? Well, a group of students at George Mason University are actually prodding the administration now to repeal an on-campus gun ban, claiming that it's more important than ever now for students to be able to protect themselves. Here now is the founder of that group, GMU Students for Concealed Carry, Andrew Dysart. He's with us here in studio. Also joining us is the university's Student Government Association president, Andrew Shelnut. Drew Shelnut, for the purposes of this discussion today, with the two Andrews here. Well, Andrew, let's start with you first of all. Now, this, when this idea first was, was, was thrown out there, the reaction amongst many people was like, you've got to be kidding me. Why would anybody think that having more guns on campus right now actually makes sense? What are students saying? Are a lot of students on board with you on this, or is this something that you're crusading on? Well, this is a very new issue for us and a very new development. Right now we have close to 40 students, between 30 and 40 students, and that's with about two weeks of only talking to people. And How many did you start with? We started with myself and about three others that I knew of. Mm -hmm. And then just spread in the word. We've grown just through that, those efforts. Well, Drew, what are you hearing? Are people saying that, that, that Andrew and his, and, and his team are, in, are crazy or what? I think there's a considerable understanding that this is a natural response to what happened at Virginia Tech. Mm -hmm. You obviously want to be able to protect yourself in a situation like that. But I think a lot of people are more afraid of the way that the campus climate would change if guns were allowed on campus. For instance? I think you can't control a person's intentions just by giving them a concealed gun permit. So you can always control their training, but you can't control their motivation behind it. Mm -hmm. So I guess no matter how much training you give a person, how much requirements you have to have that gun on campus, I think you're always going to run into that one person who will use it for the wrong thing. How, how do you respond to that, Andy? My response to that is, first of all, it's not illegal to bring a gun onto campus if you have the right permit. It is only against a school policy. So therefore, the general public can already bring guns onto campus. And the other thing is, George Mason University is largely a commuter school. About 30,000 students with about 4,000 living on campus. Mm -hmm. So these other students that have permits to carry concealed handguns are already doing so in everyday life. And we don't have any problems with them. So I don't think that will be a problem opening up to campus. Let me tell you what, what grown-ups say. Okay. You, you students might have your own discussion on campus. But the grown-ups say, I know how my kid is. I know how most kids are. The last thing I think would be a good idea would be to give some kid on a place where kids drink. And, and have emotional issues that are still growing up, essentially, all right? And I'd hate to see a kid be in, a, in, in an environment where a kid in that position, in that situation, might have access to a gun. I think the main problem with that is we keep using the word kids, 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 kids. To be able to get a concealed handgun permit in Virginia, you have to be 21 years old, which would eliminate fresh, most freshmen, sophomore, freshmen, sophomore, and juniors. Mm -hmm. And you have to go through the training. George Mason is a very diverse um, community of students. I was just talking to a student the other day, probably in his mid-50s, who has been through everything and is now taking night classes at George Mason University. So the, it's very diverse, and it's not kids we're dealing with. We're dealing with adults, 21 years or older, who feel that this need. It's Drew, not, how, well, how about that, Drew? Does that quell your, fe your fears or concerns about this, knowing that you're only talking about maybe older students on campus being able to have guns? Well, I think it's there's a parallel between the two. There's students who are younger and students who are older, but I feel either way you still run into that risk that it's always the one person that you're worried for. It's mm -hmm. not the majority of people who are responsible and do the right thing all the time with, with their concealed weapon. I think it's about that one person who I guess my perspective is if you have one person with a gun on campus, it's easy to isolate that one person if something like Virginia Tech was to happen. Yeah. But if everyone there has a concealed weapon, it's a little bit harder to isolate who that person is and how to respond to that situation. Let me, let me throw one other thing that the experts tell me, Andrew, is that, is that even the police make mistakes. Right. Right. Even the police miss when right. they're put in pressure situations. What, what makes you think then that it, a, a young adult, I'm not going to say kid this time, what makes you think then that a young adult would respond in, in, a, in like, better than a police officer would, or as good as a police officer would. I think even whether they respond as good as a police officer is not really the question. I mean, Virginia Tech, the tragedy there were 32 students essentially executed, which they deserved a chance, in my opinion. They deserved a chance. And I just, I just think that's unreasonable that we don't give them even the ones who want to go through that training and the background checks to be able to do this, we don't give them that chance. And as a student myself, I think I deserve that same chance of having the opportunity, should it come down to me or him, of being able to choose that to give them a fighting chance at living. How do, uh, Drew, your response to that, huh? that is, that's a tough argument to overcome, it, it, don't you think? It is. I just think it's a big concern for a lot of students that 
with that miss ratio, the fact that it could easily just be a misfire and instead of hitting the gunman, you hit someone else. And it causes that, I guess, dichotomy between right and wrong, mm -hmm. where you were intending to do something right, but you may have murdered another student in trying to do the right thing. I guess my response there would be, there's 135,000 permit holders in Virginia, about 2% of the population. We don't have that problem, those problems off campus. These problems, the theoretical, are not happening off campus. They are not happening where students are carrying every day off campus, where other adults are carrying every day off campus. It's not happening. So I think to bring it on campus, those are just theoretical arguments that will most likely not materialize. Well, this is all theory right now. We're going to follow oh, this correct. and see how it all ends. So you guys are out of school or heading just about into the summer right now, and then you're going to pick this up, I'm sure, in the fall. So we'll be watching to see how it all plays out. Andrew, Drew, thank you very much. Thank Good you luck so to much. both of you. Thank you. All right. After the break, uh, new insights into the life and the mind of Albert Einstein when we return.